Hello, future Boilermakers. My name is Mr. Lemie. I'm a counselor in the Freshman Center. And my name is Mrs. Stover. I'm the other counselor in the Freshman Center. Today, we're going to talk to you about career pathways and what that will mean to you at BBCHS. A career pathway is going to be your dream job that's going to take a significant amount of time in your life. Some careers require education past high school. That would be college, university, certificate programs, apprenticeship, or an occupational specific training. Our goal at BBCHS is to prepare you for your career pathway through classes that you'll take during the next four years. This plan is going to be structured and it's going to have courses for you each and every year. For example, if you come into us and say, hey, I wanna be a doctor, what courses should I take? We're gonna say that you should probably take a lot of science courses and AP courses that are gonna challenge you the most through your, through your high school career. In this next slide, we're gonna look at the career pathway model. Each of these pathways in the middle is a cluster. We have arts and communication, we have business management, health and medicine, human services, and science and technology. If you were wanting to go into an engineering field, you would look at the science and technology field. If you wanted to be a doctor, that would be health and medicine. If you wanted to go into business, we'd look at business management. If you were in performing arts, we would go to arts and communication. If you wanted to be a social worker or a teacher, we'd look at human services. Our next slide is going to look at specific programs of study. So when you look at things like arts and communication, we're going to use that as our example for today. When you look at arts and communication, it's not just about what classes you should take or what you should major in. It's all of those things. So when you think about programs of study, it's going to break them down into there's visual arts, there's performing arts, and then there's communication arts. And so what kind of extracurriculars could you be involved in that's going to help you with that field of study? So if you think about, we have a lot of extracurricular activities here at BBCHS. So for each one of these categories, it's going to give you some examples of things that you could get involved with here in school. That's really going to pique your interest and see if it's a career that you really want to keep going with. And so looking at that, there's also things like example majors. So if I study this career pathway in high school, what kinds of majors could I do in college? And then even from there, what kinds of careers could I have with those given majors? So it's really an all encompassing thing that tries to show you what you can be looking at overall to achieve the goal that you're looking to achieve. And so in arts and communication specifically, let's say we pick visual arts as an example. Here is the pathway for visual arts. So yes, everybody in high school has to take four years of English and everybody has to take a certain amount of science and math. For arts, you're gonna be looking more at what kind of electives you have to take to help you on your pathway. So we have things like ceramics, photography, um, there's art classes that go all the way up to AP Studio Art, there's fashion apparel one and two. So what kinds of, based on what you like to do and what you're interested in, what kinds of electives should we be looking at to help you with those career goals? You know, as Mr. Lemie said, if you're looking at a different field of study, you would need totally different types of electives or maybe be looking at more of things like advanced AP bio courses if you wanted to be a doctor, say, instead of looking at arts. It's just supposed to be tailored to what is going to be best for you and your career goals. So what are your next steps? What we mean by this is not to pressure you or tell you that at this moment in time, you need to know the job that you want to do for the rest of your life. It's more about what are you interested in right now? We want to help you figure out the pathway that's going to work best for you. So. Your first step should be doing some research. You know, if you've always wanted to be a teacher, look into being a teacher. What kind of education does it require, first of all? You know, sometimes I talk to students and they don't wanna to go to college for eight years. And if there's majors that require a PhD, you're gonna to have to go to college for at least eight years. So looking at things like that are important. Also, how much does it pay? You know, when you look at salaries, you have to make sure that your lifestyle will be comfortable with the salary that you're making. And then what is the job outlook? Meaning, are there going to be openings in that job? Some careers have become obsolete in the world that we live in now, and some careers are booming. So figuring out if that career is going to be one that has job openings for you when you graduate from college is going to be really important in that job search. We've even posted a website on here, um, the bls.gov slash jobs, which you can do some more research on. But then from here, what do we want you to do? Remember, when we start looking at your course selection form for next year, we're gonna want you to pick a pathway. So that pathway is not something that you're locked into. It's just when you look at those career clusters right now, what interests you the most? What are you thinking about? You might have several things that you're interested in, but pick one. 
And then each year when we meet with you to do your registration, we're going to talk with you about that pathway and if you want to stay on that pathway or if you want to change it. And to be honest, you could come into our offices at any time next year and change that pathway. That's never a closed door. So always kind of think about doing that research and continuing to understand more about the careers you're looking at and then deciding what's going to fit your lifestyle the best. So when we look at these slides from here, you know, each one of these has for each career cluster, there's a slide that kind of shows the extracurriculars, the majors and the careers. So this is a video that you can come back to later and pause and just kind of look at the one that interests you the most. But those career clusters are pretty much normal for what the society uses. So you can look at that stuff anywhere. But just kind of doing the research right now to figure out what interests me. I really like math and science courses. So maybe I need to look at STEM careers, things like that. Like, what do you enjoy doing in your off time? What do you enjoy doing at school? So looking through each of those pathways, right now you're going to pick one, but please don't feel pressured because that can change at any time. We just want to get you started and help you figure out which electives are going to be geared towards what you need most right now. So from now on, it's just research and getting ready for course selection time, which is right around the corner.